Okay, guys. So in this particular video, I'll introduce you to what IPv is and uh, IPv4 or V6. Uh, why it is actually so very important to us right now. Now, the basic role for IP uh, protocol is this particular paragraph here: packet sizing, forwarding, and delivery of the packet. No, so basically what happens in any network scenario is that let's say uh, from one particular browser I'm chatting with some other browser whether I'm requesting or he's requesting whatever communication happened between these two they actually have multiple applications running here so you need one particular protocol a set of protocols to deal with here that is the application layer protocol once this particular application wants to transact something with the entire network entire internet with thousands of other points in it we need uh, the trans uh, transport protocol to actually deal with uh, the particular port number for this particular hardware device after that particular thing we have the networking protocol that helps with these things forwarding and delivery of the packet once we have packet size everything packet sizing basically means that if you have an entire uh, set of packets a huge packet you have to divide it into pieces so that the network can actually handle it so taking these things putting them into packet providing all the information that the transport layer or the any layer above that has given to you all those things combining them with the packet providing them the right security, all these things are happening in the network and the data link layer. And after that, in the physical layer, all these things are actually transported. And same bottom to up happens in the destination ring as well. Now, packet sizing, forwarding, and delivery of the packet. These three are the key things that we will do with the IP network. Now, what is packet sizing? It's basically that when you have a huge piece of packet, let's say I have uh, to send one GB of data. Now, most of you know that uh, the network that we actually deal with or your mobile's uh, uploading speed for the lucky ones it's 200 to 300 kbps but still hundreds of times even your mobile bad, bad network has just 20 to 30 kbps even today okay so with this particular speed i cannot send the entire 1 gb at once okay so how do you divide these things send it in small chunks and pieces instead of the entire thing one at a time that particular thing needs to be handled in pack sizing forwarding and delivering of the packet once you have divided the packet you need to make sure that these packets are received at the destination end okay so making sure that particular thing happens how it will actually reach to this particular point from our network to the foreign network that is what ip protocols actually deal with now ip protocol is not entirely capturing every single element here okay for example let's say one packet is actually going from home network and somewhere because of some reason it got lost or it got destroyed then you need something called as uh, internet control message protocol which will actually be our next topic to handle each of these error situations okay whether it's a uh, missing data whether it's corrupted data whether somebody tried to uh, do some sort of mischief with the data all these security and error issues will be handled by icmp protocol other than that internet group communication protocol the igmp this is something which is used for multicasting now take an instance where uh, let's say that you are sending mail to uh, 200 students okay or your placement office is sending mail to a thousand students in the campus one single computer is sending one packet but this packet has to reach thousands of different email address okay it will not actually go from one point to other it will actually have to multiply now does it uh, mean that when i'm sending 10,000 messages to 10,000 different location the client has to take all the pressure of the 10,000 mails that way when i'm sending a 50 mail or i'm ceasing 50 people it should take much longer than and I'm seeing just one particular person, but that doesn't happen. So what exactly happens in the background? How do you handle one particular packet with multiple addresses? Okay, that is what uh, IGMP protocol deals with. Address resolution protocol. Now, I've just mentioned this particular thing here because it's a part of this particular discussion, but we'll not actually discuss a lot in detail. So what happens is that at every different layer, the addressing path is uh, mapping between the address that is understood by the layer above the network near the transportation layer, and uh, the layer below that's the networking layer now the mapping between these port numbers to ip address is something that is handled by the address resolution protocol uh, we'll not actually go in a lot of details in this particular chapter about this but you should just know that when i'm dealing with network layer the information that comes from the upper layer there are some protocols that actually make them possible to come to the network layer okay now once we have known that these are the topics which are going to follow where exactly does ip protocol falls in now, IP protocol is not uh, something which is reliable in itself. It's a best effort service is that I will try my level best, but I cannot guarantee. So there can be corrupted packets. The packets can loss. It can arrive in out of order. 
uh, out of order is means that if I have a 10 MB file and I'm sending in 10 packets of 1 MB each, it can receive in the order of 3, 4, 1, 6, 5, 2, like that. Okay. So it can go out of order. Some of the packets may be just lost. Okay. Some of the packets may be corrupted. Some data might have been changed, manipulated by somebody else. So all those things can happen when we have an IP protocol. Okay. And most importantly, it's a connectionless protocol. Okay. Just like UDP. So that is why most of the times when you have a safety net, you need a strong protocol. Make sure that everything goes right. You combine TCP, which is a reliable protocol for those who don't know with IP protocol so that this particular combination can give, provide me the connection, the security that I need that. Okay. Each and every packet is received there. It's not corrupted. They have received in order or they have some way to uh, rearrange them in order. And the IP protocol makes sure that all of this data is actually going from one end to the other end. That's why most of the times you will actually hear not only TCP or not only IP with uh, hear the combination of these two. Now, if you still don't care a lot about it, you can go for UDP protocol with the IP as well, but it doesn't make any sense because the reason we actually add TCP protocol is for the reliability and UDP itself is not reliable. So there's no point in adding it to the IP protocol. And that is why most of the time you will actually see that TCP is the best combination partner for IP protocol. Now, coming to the five layers that we have in the OSI model, uh, you will realize that the application layer is the one which creates the message or the package. Transportation layer is which one decides uh, the packet and it adds the address of the host and destination and everything. IP protocol then maps all these things, decides the path, and below two pairs basically uh, helps the IP protocol to get this message, scramble it, make it into small packets, make it encrypted and send it through the network. Okay. So this is where IP protocol actually lies right in the middle. Okay. So ICMP and IGMP are here to support IP protocols. The ARP is to help address from one particular uh, type of address to the other type of address. Now at this particular point, all you need to realize throughout this video that we have discussed is IP protocol is not reliable. It tries its best to deliver, but sometimes it needs a little more support. That's why TCP protocol comes into play. This particular protocol belongs to the network layer of it. Okay. ICMP protocol helps it with the error situation. IGMP helps with multicasting. Okay. Or multi broadcasting. That's it for this particular video. In the next video, we'll discuss more about the details of this particular packet or how does IP protocol actually works.